Forget the fate of the Earth, DreamWorks Animation itself hangs in the balance here. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Home. From DreamWorks Animation. What did you do to my car? It should hover much better now. I am prepared to accept one of your traditional gestures of human gratitude. Our tradition is to punch you in the nose. Hold still. Your gratitude is implied. The creators of the Kurds. Your vehicle is infested. He's my pet. Now he is vibrating. Is he going to explode? And how to train your dragon. What is your name? My friends call me Tit. I am O. O? I have been given this name by my many, many friends. Good morning. Uh, Hi, guys. Oh. Hello. Oh. At this point, we all know that DreamWorks Animation needs home to be a home run. Since Rise of the Guardians, they've had an overall losing streak at the box office with Turbo, Mr. Peabody and Sherman, and Penguins of Madagascar. And Penguins was supposed to be a last minute save, swapping release dates with Home at the last minute, which just shows how much faith DreamWorks Animation has in Home. And while the Croods and How to Train Your Dragon 2 were successes for the company, Dragon 2 still lost out to Disney's Big Hero 6 both for the Oscar and the title of highest grossing animated movie for the year. And the Mouse House has no problem kicking its rival when it's down, torpedoing a potential deal with Hasbro by threatening to pull all of its brand licenses from the toy company should it acquire DreamWorks Animation. And DreamWorks Animation was hoping to be acquired because they want to go private as, well, Wall Street clearly isn't rooting for Jeffrey Katzenberg and his company as much as the fans are. Is it actually possible that the first animation studio to legitimately challenge the house that Walt built could be the first to fold in an ever-growing and ever more competitive market? And then there's the fact that there's actually even more riding on Home than the future of the studio that made it. Home features a non-white lead voiced by music superstar Rihanna looking for her mother voiced by Jennifer Lopez in the midst of an alien invasion. Now, just a few months ago, there was Annie starring Quavonzene Wallace, which only posted lukewarm box office numbers. Then there's Disney's The Princess and the Frog, one of the lowest grossing movies to recently come out of the Mouse House. The success of The Karate Kid back in 2010 was a huge step forward for family movies featuring different ethnicities. But if Hollywood doesn't produce another hit soon, will all that progress be lost? President Obama even took time to visit DreamWorks Animation while dialogue for the film was being recorded, although neither Rihanna or Lopez were present. Instead, he met with the film's two other stars, The Big Bang Theory's Jim Parsons and a man who needs no introduction, Steve Martin. Or maybe to today's kids, he does need an introduction. So there's a lot riding on home. Will it save the day, or should we start calling it O oh, Animation Studios? Home run? I'd say more like foul ball. And home also has the unfortunate distinction of being one of those rare cases when it's not the publicity department that lets down DreamWorks Animation, but the writing department. And I single out the writing department specifically because this movie plays like it's written by the boob. Now, the boob are the alien race in the film. And when you watch the movie, something that happens again and again is that the boob will see something human and either try to utilize it or duplicate it, uh, only to wildly misunderstand it. And that's exactly how this movie comes across. A poor and frustratingly ridiculous uh, imitation of something human. Uh, and by the way, every time the boob misunderstand or misuse something, it's not as funny as I think the people making this movie think it is. Now, what makes this so frustrating beyond the movie just not really being cohesive or that coherent is that everybody else working on the movie nails it. Everybody does such a good job except the writers. Uh, by far and away, the best job is done by the animation department who really just knock it out of the park. The character animation is fantastic. Not only is everything adorable, I really would like an O, uh, Jim Parsons' character. Just so cute, although I thought Tip was cute. I thought their cat, uh, the cat pig was adorable. Uh, and on top of their cuteness, which really, you just want to squeeze everything on, on screen every time you see it, uh, they're also very good in terms of how the characters express themselves. It's really touching and emotional and often nonverbal. They're so good at subtle eye movements and gestures uh, that it's really amazing to behold.
Now that's not to say that the voice work isn't good. The voice work is very good. Uh, Jim Parsons is not nearly as annoying as I thought he would be, nor is he just doing, you know, a, a poor imitation of his Sheldon Cooper character, but, but, you know, for kids from the Big Bang Theory. I think he creates a really unique and uh, interesting character with O. And then Rihanna is fantastic. Tip is a great character. Uh, and I think she's more than just a token you know, character for diversity's sake, which of course is very important. But Tip is fully realized. She is a bright, young, uh, you know, spunky heroine that I think anyone would look up to. Uh, so while, and also while they do a lot to promote diversity in this family film, which is important because it's so uh, absent from family films, uh, but also there's a very good message about not running away from your fears or your problems that I think does get across uh, over the course of the film. Also, the detail. Oh, the detail. The car, after uh, O fixes it, that runs on slushies. Oh, it's just a delight to behold. So creative. Uh, also, uh, I really like uh, little details, like um, uh, when the cat's paw, pig's paw, is up against the car window. It's something so subtle, and you have to really be almost looking for it. But it was just such a cute little specific choice that it just kind of you know won me over and kept me entertained during the movie. You know, spotting little things like that. Also, uh, there's a Christmas uh, subtle theme in here. Uh, again, very, very subtle and expertly done, by the way, in that manner. Uh, and it reminds you this movie was supposed to come out during Thanksgiving. Uh, but again, really, really well done across the board in that regard. And I have to say, personally, I'm glad that I saw Home because it has some really thrilling sequences, uh, great use of music, uh, some really beautiful sequences, great use of color, and some really emotional sequences. Again, fantastic character expressions, uh, both verbally and non-verbally. Uh, but I can't recommend that you see it unless you're an animation fan and you're going to really appreciate all this detail and color, etc., even though the, the story never comes together. I mean, for all the great little parts that I just spoke to, it never gels as a whole. So animation fans, again, this is something that you're going to, I think, find something to enjoy out of it, uh, but you're going to have to work at it. And then for everyone else, well, I think that if you really wanted to go to the movies or if you were bored, I think you could watch home. It's quote unquote watchable, uh, but that's really the best the best thing that I can say about it. So that's my review of Home. I wish I had better things to say. I'm rooting for DreamWorks Animation. I even liked Turbo and Rise of the Guardians. Penguins, I was on the fence, uh, as well as with Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Uh, and I would say that this is just a step above Mr. Peabody and Sherman and uh, um, Penguins of Madagascar. But it's not nearly the level of quality of uh, Megamind and other films like that from DreamWorks. But those aren't working either. I don't, I don't know how they're going to dig themselves out of this hole. So I look forward to discussing Home with you down below. Thank you so much for tuning into my review. And you can check out some other episodes right now. <music> <laughs>